Hey. Hey. Welcome back or welcome. I'm Brittany and this is the Brittany Inc. channel. My babies, my girlies, my darlings. We are here today to talk about all the things that I want to wear this fall winter season. Sisters, this is my fall winter wish list. I feel like I have not done one of these in a while. Like when was the last time? Maybe spring, spring. Did I do a summer? I don't know if I did a summer because this summer I was truly in my blogging era. So maybe I didn't do a wish list. Maybe I talked about it in a vlog. But we're back with another wish list. This one to accommodate the cold weather. Am I excited about the cold? No, but am I mildly excited about the things that I get to wear in the cold? Sure. Now, the funny thing about this season is, I can tell you right now, I don't have a theme. I, you know, I, I like to come up with a theme. I'm a theatrical girl, but as I was like sourcing things for this video and just kind of window shopping around and seeing what I wanted and what I wanted to give, nothing had a commonality, not really. I guess the, the theme is maybe elevation. I don't know, we'll see as we, we'll circle back at the end of the video. So let's just jump in, starting with, of course, my favorite girly, Eloquie. Sisters, I'll be honest, I have not been checking for Eloquie. This entire summer, everything that they were doing was Yawn City. I wasn't excited by any of the releases. I thought that maybe this new acquisition that happened with them lately was a setback because let's be honest, Eloquie is one of the more style progressive plus size retailers that we have arguably the only that's going to be on trend outside of like the super super fast fashion girls that are very very trendy only trendy like pretty little thing or like boo -hoo, you know that type of thing fashion nova the girls who replicate some stuff real quick but eloquy what is truly the option because you get decent quality and you get very on-trend pieces in addition to your core classics. But this summer, they weren't doing much. And I said, but I forgot, fall, winter is their time to shine. It's really when they start to show out because Eloquent has really good faux leathers. They typically do coats that I'm interested in. They just have fun shit. And this dress definitely falls into the fun shit category. This dress just released the other day from the Barkwood collaboration. I love it. I Ruching can sometimes, most times, get very, very boring because most brands are just doing like ruching on the sides. Yada, yada, yada. But this dress is interesting. One, because it's a mock neck. Two, it's long sleeve. And three, the ruching is kind of going every which way adding a fluidity and so much texture to this dress. So I love it. You know, I'm a bodycon babe. I love tight things always. And this dress fits the bill, but it's even more interesting than just your atypical bodycon dress. I also don't own anything within this color. So trust she will be dealt with. And by dealt with, I mean purchased. Speaking of ruching, there's also this dress. Now, I really love this color. This is still fun. It's it's very overly ruched. It's not just the sides, it's the middle, it's the sleeves, it's everything. This color is what really does it for me. But I saw and wanted this dress before I saw the previous dress. But I still like her. She's still very, very pretty but I don't know if I need both of these dresses. Even though I, I, I really, really do love this color, I do, it's true. But when it comes to like the neckline, 
I prefer the other one. And I also prefer the long sleeves and the diagonal ruching of the other one. I think it's a little bit more interesting, a little bit more visually interesting. So let me know down in the comments, which one do y'all like? A, the ox bloody long sleeve roof dress or B, this one in the color silver pine. Let me know down below which one y'all like. Cause I'm, I'm not gonna get both. I'm, I'm very responsible. We're lowering our consumption. We're focusing on pieces that we just cannot breathe without. And I'll be fine breathing with just one of these dresses. I don't need to. Now this dress, my darlings, I know for a fact I can't breathe without. As soon as I saw this dress, baby, I gasped. I gasped. And I sent it to my friend and she said it was ugly. And unfortunately, she's just a girl without taste. It's true. This dress to me is stunning. Like I love it. It's giving so many things. It's giving so many things. It's it's black and white, so it's classic. But it's these thick vertical stripes, so it's fun. But it's this this beautiful silhouette that's kind of boat necked with a a squared shoulder cutoff. So it's sophisticated. Like it's so many things in one. I just love it. I can see it with a colored fur. I can see it with a black leather blazer. I can see it with some knee high leather boots. Of course I can see it with a mule. Baby, I can see her with a pump. I can see her during the colder months. I can see her in the summer. I'm finding that when it comes to her, when it comes to this one, the limit don't exist. I'm obsessed. I need this dress. It's non-negotiable. I love it so much. It's giving circus. Well, no, the circus stripes are red and white, right? Mm. Yeah, because we're not clowns over here. But it's just so gorgeous. It's like Cruella de Vil meets Beetlejuice. Beetlejuicy. Hey. It's giving Beetlejuicy. Yeah. I also love this dress. Mm, yeah. She's fun. Do I have anything like her? No. I love that it has the boning, like the little mild corsetry on the inner. It reminds me of like a Nancy Dojaka dress that I've seen, one of my favorite thinner influencer girlies wear. I think it's great. It's classic. It's something that I could wear with some boots. It's something that I can wear with a heel. I could do a little blazer. If I'm feeling fun, I could do a printed long sleeve sheer. You know how I like to layer my shirts under my dresses. She can go a couple different ways as well. I can even do a white button down blouse with a tie if I'm really feeling like I want to be Janet Jackson in the I Get So Lonely video. Like she can do a lot. So I'm into her like 80% of the way. Like 80%. I love it, but I would probably love it more in a chocolate. Mm, could you imagine, sister, with chocolate? Denim is still in, cargoes are still in, the attico effect is long and strong. I enjoy these, but I don't know. What do we think? I'm almost wishing they weren't so wide-legged because I'm obsessed with these wide-legged jeans. These, these crystallized wide leg jeans from the Eloquy Barkwood collaboration. This also has like a matching jacket. I don't know if I care about the jacket, honestly, but I love these jeans. I love the wash. I love the high waistedness. I love the little crystals and the fact that they are a very low contrast to the color of the jeans. So it's kind of like, are those jeans sparkling? Are is it like, you know, I love that. I love that because it can be very casual. And then you look at a person in the correct light with these and it's giving disco ball Alicia. And I love that. I love that. I love these jeans. I have to have these jeans. I will have these jeans. Yes. And then last for Eloquy. These trousers. <laughs> because how long have I been wanting to be a trouser girl? And why have I still not found excellent trousers? 
Yes, I have my white linen trousers from Eloquii. Those are perfect. They fit me phenomenally. I'm wishing I can just take that pattern and get a bunch of different pants made using that pattern in different textiles and colors because wow. But I'm kind of hoping that these pants have the same fit as those. I need a pair of trousers for those. It's been years. I've been talking about damn trousers. I still ain't got no trousers. I can't wear those linen pants year round because they're white and they're linen. I don't have a problem with white after Labor Day. I need some trousers and these seem like good trousers. Back me up on this. Next up, we have ASOS. And speaking of trousers, we have these pants. I love these. They're, they really give that casual vibe that says, I didn't try too much, but I just look like this. I just look polished. I just look chic. And that's kind of what I'm going for. Like low effort pieces that look like effort was involved. That's why I love, love, love my, and now this, trousers. They're wider leg though, so I do want something that's a little bit more tapered, which is where these come in. But I love that look of like looking like something while doing nothing. And then there's these, very relaxed. I don't really know how these would look on my frame, but I went to a dinner party you would have saw that in my last vlog. I'll link it. I went to a dinner party at Casati's Modern Italian, beautiful Italian restaurant if you are in Chicago area or in Chicago. And there was this girlita invited to the dinner and she had on these hella cute trousers. Hers were clean. And of course I asked my sister where she got them from and guess what she said? She said ASOS. I think these were those trousers, except for these are in gray and hers are in cream. So I'm gonna try them because they look excellent on her. They look really, really good on her. And I want that for me. So why not? Now I know I've told y'all time and time again that I don't need no more coats. My coat closet is at capacity. There's literally not a single thread that can fit in my like hall closet because that's my coat closet. It's nothing like it's, it's tired it's overrun however when it comes to an animal print coat you know i'm willing to make the sacrifice i'm willing to make the space i will get rid of a jacket or two to accommodate her i think it's gorgeous i love it it's the and i okay okay i know somebody thinking it Someone who knows my wardrobe well is saying right now, but Brittany, you have a tiger print faux fur coat. Girl, it don't matter. And anyway, that coat one has an oranger hue to it, true orange, giving tiger. And two, it's a large scale tiger print. This is a small scale tiger print and it, it's a neutral. It's very different. It's very, very different, okay? And that coat is very lush and thick and this one ain't so they're they're different they're different and because i don't discriminate i want her to this one is so fun because i this trend has been going around for a couple seasons now where these padded textiles are taken and little stitched designs usually curvy in nature are woven throughout the piece where i've stitched throughout the piece and i'm really 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 into it I'm so into this coat for a couple reasons. One, I like the color. Two, I love the length. I love that it's casual. I don't have any, all my coats, like all my winter coats at this point are all faux fur. So I always like when I'm going somewhere and it's cold and I throw on one of those furs and it's more than likely the leopard or the tiger, I'm always getting a tee which I don't mind, I don't mind getting a tea. I'm always giving, arguably, depending on who you ask, luxury. I don't mind that either. But sometimes I just want something more casual. Now, if you meet me on the right day, I will argue with you that of course in a, a floor length leopard print coat faux fur is casual, it is. like. Yeah, I'm wearing this to the grocery store, and I do. But I think 
now this season, I want something even more casual. I do wear that leopard print coat with like sweats. I wear it with jeans. I wear it dressed up with mini dresses. I love that coat with the mini dress. But yeah, I do want something a little bit more casual this year. And I think it's gonna be this one. I think it's gonna be this one. I browse the accessories at ASOS and I love this belt. And I love this belt too. So I want both. They both have like a vintage vibe. I don't have a brown belt. So yeah. And then lastly for ASOS are these boots. As I go on into this video, you will see that I'm very much in a boot mood. These are cute. I don't own anything like it. They're a hella fun auntie boot and I need them. Yeah. Speaking of boots, I stopped by Torrid and I knew from the moment I got those pink sparkly boots, you know the pair, they're stunning, that Torrid is the it girl to go to for your thick calf boot needs. So I saw these boots and I'm obsessed. They're giving me new. I want them. When I was on there two weeks ago, they had a pair that came up to the knee. Those are gone. I'm not even shocked. I'm not even mad at my sisters for selling those out because they were fantastic. I do hope that they restock. But for now, the ankle version, she's fine. Then they had these with the wood platform that remind me of like Chloe boots. I love the black. I do. But I really love this brownie, cognac -y, cinnamon color. It's giving boho, it's giving Chloe, it's giving Gabriella Hearst, it's giving Midtown Manhattan errands. I need a fluffy cream faux fur coat to wear with these and some light denim jeans and a like wool hat or something like that. Yeah. Then there's the ankle platform boot. I have the knee length platform boot. I love them. They're so comfortable. I could spend hours in those shoes and they're maybe like four, five inches, maybe like five inches. Hella comfortable. I'm sure these ankle boots will be no exception. And then there's these, which is like the, the Frankenstein version of them with this very square toe. I'm very intrigued by it. To me, they're a little ugly but they're ugly in the most fabulous way like they're very interesting i love that blunt square toe and i don't own anything like it so when it comes down to these two girls i may opt into the square toe but let me know what y'all think about these two down in the comments and while on the topic of boots i went over to fashion to figure and i came across these and wow the faux croc texture, yeah, fabulous. And fashion to figure, generally, their boots, the heeled boots, are very, very comfortable. They're very spacious. I love them. I know from looking at this heel and toe box, these are going to be comfortable. Love them. This chocolate color, now, I do have a pair of chocolate over-the-knee boots from fashion to figure, but they're not croc textured, and these ain't over-the-knee. So they're different. They're different. <laughs> my coat closet is also my boot closet. My boots are on the shelf. It's at capacity. It is, but I did just donate a couple pairs of boots. So I'm going to bring some new girls in. Yeah. Suiting is huge this season. So I want a suit. I'm having a video coming up on trends really soon. So look out for that. But look at this red suit, baby. It's giving Connie Spaulding. If you know who Connie Spaulding is, raise your hand, sisters. It's giving power suit. It's giving power lesbian. Season one, Sex in the City. Let's discuss it. Like, I, I love this suit. I love that the model here wore it with nothing underneath. Ah, it's really giving me something. I really need, and I don't own red. I don't own red, which, you know, is really bringing the question up. Brittany, are you a bad bitch or not? Because why don't you have any red? Because all the baddest girlitas wore red. And I'm, the women I'm thinking about, the women who raised me, 
I'm thinking about the women of like the late 80s and into like the up to the mid 90s because that's like kind of one of my favorite fashion eras. Every girl was wearing red. The girls had red nails. They had red lips. They had red leather boots to go with their red bucket bag. You understand? A red leather jacket cropped with a hood. The girls were taking it. And I need to get more red pieces so I too can take it. Now y'all remember that, that coat we just looked at at ASOS. Look at this. Yeah. I don't want the whole, it's a whole Cold War situation. It's a top and I believe it's a cardigan that goes with these. I don't want the whole thing. I do want these pants. I love any moment to give auntie. I love any moment to give fun art teacher, quirky art girl. I love that. So I love these. I love the crop of these. Imagine these with those boots from ASOS. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And this thick waistband, oh babe, I already know it's gonna snatch the waistband and just make it look so nice and small because I have cellular pants like this from Fashion to Figure and they know exactly what to do in that area. Now from, from Fashion to Figure, I kind of just bopped around a little bit on the internet to see what else the girls had because I told you I, I clearly don't really have a thing but I headed over to Pretty Little Thing. I didn't see too much. I did see these cargo pants that I have been wanting for a couple months now. So I may just grab them. I love them. I love the color of this camouflage specifically. Cause you know, you, you know, sometimes it can go a bit too warm. It can go a bit too dark. This to me is the perfect shade grouping of camouflage. Love it. And then lastly, I had it over to Forever 21 because sometimes they have some things. And while they didn't have too many things for me this time, they did have this dress and I enjoy it. And again, any moment that gets me closer to an auntie era, I'm with it. And Animal Print just does that. This is fantastic. I love that it's maxi. I love that it's strapless. It's giving Miami nights. Like they just imagine. The hair is sleeked and pulled back with a little bit, like a little curl tendril here. Yeah. Glossed cheekbones, just natural highlight. Glossed collarbones, bronzed shoulders, gold bangles up the arms, large gold hoops in the ear, a red lip. A dark brow and nothing else on the face. Maybe a little thin line of black eyeliner. Waterline, of course. But nothing else on the face. A black mule. Because you know I'm a mule mommy. And you're sitting there having a beautiful beach dinner with your boot glistening and glowing in green leopard print. Yeah. Yeah. I need this dress. It's so fabulous. And that, y'all, is it. That is everything that I want for now. I'm in a little shopping vibe right now. Not too much because I like to wait until Black Friday because I love a sale with a high discount. So I'm waiting. I have a haul coming up. If you saw my last shop with me video, then you know I usually have a haul following those. So there's going to be a haul coming up later this month. And I will probably condense this wish list in a vlog as I prepare to shop for Black Friday. You know? But yeah, that's it. You see, I don't have a theme, my babies. Like, the theme is just bad bitch. I just want to look elevated. I want to look chic. I want to look fun. I want to look polished. But there is no theme. There is no theme here. I'm really into classic pieces. I want good denim, which I've been talking about a lot. As good as denim as I can get being a plus size baby because the, let's be honest, the quality truly diminishes as the body widens, it's true. But I want good denim and I wanna wear my poplin tops 
And I'm gagged because am I describing quiet luxury? No, because I'm um I'm, I'm a garish girl. I'm gaudy. I'm, I couldn't possibly be describing that. But I do want to elevate some of the pieces that I do consider to be classic. Because again, I'm always trying to like lower my consumption even as I love shopping. And I want to buy things and have to replace them less. That's the that's the goal. So yeah, no theme here, just bad bitch. What do you guys think? I know a lot of my girlitas are not shopping. Live vicariously through me, my babies. What is your favorite piece from this little roundup of all the shit that Britney wants? Do you have anything that's caught your eye lately? Like I said, when I did my shop with me, I'm very underwhelmed by what's happening in stores. Eloquy was a bright beacon of light for me the past couple weeks with their few drops, the, the like the black and white contrast drop and then the barcode drop, it, it made me very happy because the girls really not doing too much out here. They're, they're giving us just things, just fabrics. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video if you like this video. Subscribe if you are not subscribed. Join the family, join the sisterhood. We're constantly growing and I'm so happy that y'all are here with me. I, I can't stress it enough. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Follow me over on Instagram if you are not following me already. Or, and or, follow me on TikTok at Brittany Inc. And I will see you beautiful girlies in the next video.